long ago, people lived in peace, bathed in the warmth of light. Everyone loved the light. Then, people began to fight over it. They wanted to keep it for themselves. And darkness was born in their hearts. The darkness spread, swallowing the light in many people's hearts. everything and the world disappeared but small fragments of light survived in the hearts of children with these fragments of light children rebuilt the lost world the world we live in now. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of an intro, sort of whatever whatnot, to this game, Kingdom Hearts Unchained X, or as I like to call it, Kingdom Hearts Unchained Cross. You know, with like all the Japanese titles and whatnot, the X is usually crosses and whatnot. Anyways, it's me, on fire. I know it's been a very long time since you guys have seen a video from me, and I want to personally say that my YouTube channel is literally just a hobby, I don't get paid off of it or anything like that, but this should be the next series coming out. I'm going to try to either see if I can live stream this, or if I'm just going to do like, um, series or whatnot. I don't know. You guys put some stuff in the comment section down below. We'll see what we can get going here. If you guys want to see some, li want to see some live streams, just put live streams and... I'll see if I can actually do that on YouTube. I know, I've seen some people do it. I don't know if I can, but I will see if I can. Um, as you can see, it is currently downloading. So we'll go ahead and get all this. This is on my computer, actually. I wanted to thank a couple people for, um, for helping me out with this one. I don't, I can't remember their channels right now, but the channels will definitely be in the description. One will be the, uh, the first link will more than likely be the video of how to actually get this on your computer. And the second link will be of a YouTube channel that the person that helped me to get to that other video helped me to find so on and so forth. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a bit jumbled up right now. It is Christmas Eve. I'm more than excited to spend time with my family. I hope you guys have spent time with the family as well. I will more likely start this up on Monday. So you guys are getting this video today here on the 24th on the 26th you guys should have either the next video or my very first live stream so I hope you guys actually enjoy this I don't really know how it's gonna go because this is a mobile game this isn't actually a computer game that usually happens and whatnot so there goes all that I'm gonna go ahead and collect my jewels the 300 this is what you literally get from starting um, other than that guys I hope you guys enjoy whatever comes after this um, see how far we can get on this today just so you guys can get some stuff going alright banisher of darkness gather of light what is your name and unfortunately my name I'm not sure if I can actually put it in because I have actually started playing this I don't think I can put that in oh alright we can put it in and I usually go with the cool red, just to get things going. There is the other ones in here. There is the sporty blue, the sporty yellow, the cool black. I do like the cool red, though. There is some clothes in here, so, you know, the 
basically the sets. There are the accessories, which the gloves we can change out if we want to. So we can put the sporty blue gloves on if we wanted to. Somewhat like that look going on. We have the hairstyles, which I actually choose the fox hawk for the very first one. We have the hair colors. Um, I, I we need a red in here, honestly. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna do it a bright orange. Uh, we got the faces. Yeah, just look all smug. Like, yeah, I am. I am the ultimate person of light. Uh. I don't know. See, the thing is with all these customizations, you can actually change these later on. So, uh, it doesn't really matter what you all go with. But there, we got that. And another thing, you have two things you can have here. You can have either the guy or you have the girl. Again, this can be changed in game. So, this is how I'm going to look for now until we get later on in the series because I want to show some people how this stuff works. So, let's get into the cutscene. Alright, here's the next part of it. These are the unions. There are five unions in this game. We'll get to the names in a second. But these five unions work together with the fellow unions to accomplish great feats. So like killing off the bosses or getting lux and whatnot. I haven't figured out the entire thing yet. But I can tell you with the main character that I have, the one that I'm playing on my phone, I am in this one. I am currently in the Angus Union. But I can tell you that the union that is usually first place is Volpus Union. Since we're going with the free-to-play version of things, we're going to go with Volpus. But there's also the Unicornus, and there is the Ursus, and last but not least, the Leopardus. I can tell you that every month, as far as I've seen, Volpus has been at the top of the rankings for Lux development and whatnot. So if you guys want to get the most amount of this game and the most amount of time and whatnot, I would suggest joining Volpus. So just from my perspective on that one, Volpus has actually gotten some higher things going on. And here we go, we got ourselves some Heartless popping up. Or is that just darkness surrounding me? That's just darkness surrounding me. I get swallowed up by the darkness. I'm not evil, I swear, guys. I just, I, I do YouTube as a hobby. It, it's not a big thing for me. Oh, we, we got the Keyblade. The Keyblade holds the power of light. The power to drive away darkness. Yeah. So this is actually using a tablet emulator called Duos. Uh, we're getting swallowed up again. I used the one time I could use my keyblade. I mean, this is gonna do that all over again. You're just gonna do that all over again? Keyblade holds the power of light, the power to drive away the darkness. Um. Are we good on that now? Can we move away? Okay, that was a double thing, double cutscene, I guess. I don't know what happened there. I, I thought it just ended after that, but anyways, moving on to the actual game itself. Well, some big things. This is the tutorial, the, the section of the, uh, this is the, 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 the tutorial section of Kingdom Hearts Cross. I couldn't say that for some odd reason. Anyways, tap the screen to approach the Heartless. Now we're going to use our mouse, actually. I'm pretty sure you guys can see the mouse on screen. And we're going to tap up here and approach the Heartless. Now, you can tap, or you can swipe. I prefer to swipe to get rid of these guys. Of course, it doesn't defeat them soon enough. But it just gets a bit more just for the first swipe and we're done. That gets that out of the way. Moving on, you want to collect every shiny you can possibly get. I'm sorry for the audio quality. Like I, Here, I'm just clicking holding. This is just me clicking and holding so the guy just runs around. It makes things go a whole lot freaking faster. Collect all the shinies you can possibly get in this game. And here, I'll just, I'm just going to tap to get this out of the way. It gets one guy. Can we actually use metals? No, we can't use the metals yet. Okay. That's, that's probably the next part of the tutorial section. Let's go up here. Follow the target marker, and it just shows you where the target is. If you guys want to read those, go ahead and pause the video. That gives us the specials that we can use. So now we're going to run up here, kill this guy off. Uh, 
to swipe the glowing metals to unleash special attacks. It's just, once you get up to the higher levels, the special attacks get like really freaking powerful. Because there's like guilting and everything, it's just crazy stuff. So there's Donald. We're gonna do the swipe, do another swipe that should knock him out. There we go, let's those out of the way. Attack Heartless to gather Lux and level up! So the leveling system in here is literally just, you're just doing the missions and you level up automatically. Because it's just, I don't know, easier that way? <laughs> um, but moving on from that into the actual game now. There's a couple things I want to show you guys that it will work out at the beginning of this game so that it'll be a whole lot faster for you guys to move on through the game. I know you guys have seen this up here, you're probably looking at this like this this little trial thing is annoying, you should get the full version. Unfortunately, I don't want to pay $15 for the full version. And the cracked version that I got, yes, I have a cracked version. Just scream at me all you want in the comment section below. I don't really care, because I just wanted to show you guys how this game works. The cracked version, of course, is broken. Pretty scary stuff, huh? But you get an A for effort. Who the heck is this guy? You look a little confused. Here's what's going on. Your pursuit of light made you the perfect candidate for the Keyblade Wielder. For a Keyblade Wielder. Out of the many that are out there. I don't know if you guys know about the Keyblade War or something like that. Darkness is spreading and it's up to you to use the weapon to get rid of it. Collect light and in turn save the world. Save the cheerleaders, save the world. The monster that was just defeated belongs to the darkness, and is called a Heartless. These Heartless score the world searching for hearts, spreading darkness as they go. You know, I should probably get a good name for this guy, he's like cute and whatnot, so... The Keyblade is an effective weapon against them. Nah, this probably doesn't, probably just doesn't work out. I hope this is all sinking in. Nah, yeah, that's still Mickey. I don't know. I don't know. You guys figure out some voice. If you guys remembered my voices from a while, maybe we can get something going. Anyways, I was assigned by a certain someone to walk, to watch over a new Keyblade wielder, you. I'm Chirithi. I'll be supporting you the whole way, teaching you everything you need to know. And more. Nice to meet ya. Right now, the Keyblade is just like you. It has room to grow. To unleash its true power, you'll need to use fragments. Special metals that you can set in your Keyblade. Anyway, that's a lot to take in. And of course, a lot to take in. So why don't you use the Heartless here for some practice? We're getting some practice on the second level. So this is the main hub. We'll get all to the rest of the tutorial stuff in a second. This this would literally be in your game, the tutorial stuff. Um, as you can see, we got the 300 jewels. These 300 jewels will come in handy. Like, no joke, guys. Those will come in handy. Save your jewels. So at the bottom, you saw there was a quest. You have the story quest. These are the special quests. These will be event quests. And these will be Colosseum quests. You can see these are not unlocked until 1.30. What I would suggest from the very beginning is doing your best to get to level 200 because that'll get you the ability to get the uh, Colosseum open and then and then yeah, 200 to be able to start guilting things so this will be the second mission combat 101 go and get this mission out of the way confirm as we see we have Donald Goofy and oh, what was that I couldn't see the last one. Select a friend's medal to take with you on a quest. So we have Donald, we have Goofy, and I believe this was uh, Riku? No, it's not Riku. Who is that? Hold on. We oh, can't get out of this. But these are all Donalds. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, these are all... Oh, wait, wait, we got a new one. Whoever Ember is, thank you very much for sharing that. We're, we're just going to use yours right now. That's like the strongest metal sitting there. You guys might think I'm crazy on that. Bit of side information: you can look at the info of all the uh, attached, um, attached metals to your Keyblade sitting here. You can see we had three bronze and one silver. That silver is going to be our most powerful metal, of course. It, you guys will see how they all level up and whatnot eventually. Ah, let's go ahead and get these guys out of. The yeah, flick the screen. You guys saw how I was doing that before, right? So, whoop. 
straight across the screen. It just gets them out of the way. Done and done and done and done. And there's a way to like level up your Keyblade and everything so that you guys can have more medals on them. I'm sorry for the lag and whatnot that was going on right there. I don't know what that was. He, I mean, he was supposed to go for the, uh, the, the shinies, but he ran back onto the fountain. So that was kind of crazy. It's getting the rest of the shinies, because these shinies will come in handy. No doubt. Now, there are different sections here also in the game. You guys might think it's kind of crazy that there's different sections within a level, but some of this does become a maze. I've memorized it. So you're going to go this way first to pick up any of the extra shinies that are over here. There are sometimes even a treasure chest back here on different stages. And then you're going to go this way. You see this little door here? I disappeared behind it. So now we're going to go behind it. Come on, behind the door and down the stairwell. They get you an extra shiny just at the beginning here. So we have some extra stuff to level up our keyblade. They're going to deal with the target. So actually, I want to know, is that Sora or is... Yeah, is that Sora surrounding? No. Okay. So, I can't really sh Oh, maybe I can't. Okay. If you guys look here, like right around here, this will tell you if the metal will hit every single um, every single enemy in the area, or if, it'll sing if it will hit a single one, like the Sora one here. So, this one does 7 to damage to only one of the enemies, while all of these do, an ex do a moderate, moderate, and extremely powerful hit to all of them. So... We're at nine, we can get this done easily. That's that's two. That's four from Goofy. Which does that kill them all? It actually kills them all off, so we don't get to see uh I still don't know I still don't know this metal's name. I have to look at the metal name as soon as, as soon as we get out of this mission right here, so I forget to look at the metal name. Oh, we defeated the targets within one turn. Use one or more attacks and collect 30 more lux. So if you get these done, you get a bit more lux, I'm guessing. The 957 luxes. And then here we're get, just seeing everything that we collected. If you want the screen to move faster, just click the screen and it'll get going. 300 jewels for completing the second mission. But now we're at 600. And this, I want to show you guys... Oh wait, no, we got a bit more tutorial to go. But I want to show you guys how this is going to work out. So we're at 600 jewels already. You guys see this? this, this remember the 600 jewels. There's the shop. Oh, it actually shows us. I don't think it showed me my first time around. Oh, no. I don't want to do this one. I want to do the 600 one. What? I want to do the 600 one. Oh, okay. Well, we can strengthen our equipment by getting more medals. We're going to do the 300 one here. Do okay. It's going to give us, I believe, a Mickey. I believe it gives us a Mickey. You get to see the cool little animation of how we get our medals and everything. This is how everyone does their medal pullings and whatnot. Yeah, it gives us the Mickey. Actually, did we have to use the Mickey? I don't remember. Powerful Medals Part 1. Try equipping your new medal. You go up to the menu area. Oh, I'll show you guys to do that later. We're going to swap out our medals. We're going to put the Mickey where the Donald is at. And we're going to go to the quest now. So you guys will see how the menu works out. It'll eventually go a whole lot quicker and whatnot. And I want to get more Mickeys. That that I do want to get. Let's do another sword. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Like that. <laughs> nothing's going to beat that metal. We're going to one-shot everything in this area. So you guys want to look around for better metals. And there's another way on top of scrolling down to look for better metals. Once you're inside of a party, feel enemies. Okay, yeah. Once you're inside of a party, does that hit all of them? No, it hits only one. Once you're in, <laughs> I keep saying this, but once you're inside of a party, so I've said it about three or four times now, so you guys understand what I'm saying. You will have a whole lot more powerful medals. Like, I don't know even know how powerful some of these things are, but you saw how that one is like all shiny and gold and whatnot. That is called a six-star medal, actually. And that is, of course, the most powerful metal on my Keyblade right now. Because it's... It's technically on my Keyblade, but it's not my metal. So, if that makes sense. There's a way to share metals and whatnot. We'll get to all that, the rest of that throughout the tutorial. And I know the tutorials probably shouldn't take this long, but I, of course I'm talking and whatnot. You guys got to see the download and everything else that went crazy. Yeah, we got the attributes right now. So, we could hit this guy with the Mickey... We're gonna hit this guy with the Goofy. We're gonna hit this guy with the other... I, I keep forgetting that. We should check that out. And we're gonna just, just smash you <laughs> with that amazing metal. So that's everyone in one turn. Or... I think that was... Oh, 
we still have the target to go. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I'm just gonna use Mickey. Just boosh. Smash you out of the way. Get going, get moving, get good. There should be one more shiny over here. I think so, yeah, we got that one. And now we got the target. As you guys can see, this it's nothing at the beginning of the game, but things will get difficult. This I believe this follows the storyline of the very first uh, Kingdom Hearts, but I can't really tell because it's been a very long time since I've played the very first Kingdom Hearts game. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess you did all that, no problem. Level 3 already. Oh, we can make that go faster just by clicking the screen. And then click OK. Alright, next cutscene. And portal. I believe this is the Vulpus leader. I think. You've managed to tap into the power of the Keyblade. Lesso Heartless won't stand a chance. But in order to defeat stronger foes. Come on, stronger foes. Like this big bad guy. You guys will understand what I'm saying when that is a raid boss. <laughs> you must combine your strength with those who share your purpose and aspirations. Alright. We get to see all these guys come in. I believe some of these characters come into play within the storyline. I don't really know because I haven't gotten that far with my original character. But hey, your friends will become your power. That's what I'm talking about. You need to join a party. Guys, like, if you get the chance, join a party. I'm not going to join one with this one. I'm actually going to make one with this one. So if you guys want to come do some stuff, you can, or come, yeah, come and help me out, you can join my party. That's what I was trying to say. Attack its arm to momentarily prevent it from striking back. Aim for its head to take it down. So we're actually going to go for the arm over here. And if you guys see, both of these arms are now like fizzled out. That basically means it's stunned or locked in this position. It gives you two extra turns. A turn is when all of the metals have been used up. So we're just going to... Uh... Actually, how much is your power level? Just go and use it. Just use a special attack. I think that yeah, that will knock him out. I think even if I just smacked him, it would have knocked him out. But I like using my metals. The metals make things go faster, <laughs> way way faster. Success! The raid boss is defeated. All right. There are others who collect the light, but not all of them share the same goals of bringing peace to the world. You must discover who amongst us walks the path of darkness. Yes, I will. I will discover those who walk the path of darkness and defeat them with my everlasting powers. So I may just record this then stream the rest. I don't know. Maybe I'll just record for like an hour or something. I don't know. I know this overwhelming but dark Ugh. I know this is overwhelming, but darkness waits for no one. I think I like that one. In fact, it's found its way to a bunch of other worlds, which, ne which need your help. I know a way to these places. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready to move on to other worlds and other places. To more powerful things. We made a portal with our keyblade. Like, if we were this powerful, that, that is, like, can we just like strike the entire world and defeat every single heartless? <laughs> like, that'd be freaking awesome. All right, gonna get this mission out of the way. I believe this is the last tutorial one. Oh, there's another Mickey. Can we get something? Ooh. Okay, this we got this one. I'll deal with that. I'll deal. I will deal with that. Maleficent, what are you doing here? What wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall! Who is the fairest one of all? Fame is thy beauty, majesty. But hold, a lovely maid I see. 
Rags cannot hide her gentle grace. Alas, she is more fair than thee. Alas for her! Reveal her name, Mira! Lips red as the rose, hair black as ebony, skin white as snow. Snow White? Yes, Snow White is more, way, way more beautiful than you are, Maleficent. Oh no, that's not Maleficent, is it? Or is it Maleficent? I don't know. Which one is it? Is it Maleficent? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comment section down below. Anyways, we got these two singing. Of course, sing, sing, la di da. I am a handsome prince. Moving on from that, and now she runs. Run away, Sleeping Beauty, for this prince is trying to kiss you. All of the music and Maleficent watches overhead. I don't kill you, Sleeping Beauty! It was the last thing I do! Alright, let's go and get on with this stuff. So, you guys are gonna see some more secret areas from me when when I get through this thing, of course. Let's pop that out of the way, pop that out of the way, pop that out of the way. One more! Alright, so behind these bushes over here, if you walk into that secondary bush, there's a little spot over here that gives you some more stuff. But this guy right here. Can we get these out of the way, please? Actually, I wonder if I just, like, tap. Can we just... I don't know. That opens up some more of that stuff. If you go behind this bush, that's the secret way to there. And this is our target. We're gonna send Mickey out on a mission. Mickey! And then just tap the rest of it. I got that guy out the way. We win! Booyah! So can we get on with this tutorial and finish up this tutorial so we can move on? Level 4! I'll let you know that those levels come in handy, also, when we looking for like other stuff to get. You said saw we got another Goofy. And I will tell you this on top of everything else I've already told you. Don't um, use those metals that you think you will not need um, to level up other metals. Because once you get it to level 200, there's a thing called guilting, and it will be freaking incredible. But strengthen your keyblades, you can level up the keyblade, tap equipment in the menu to get started. So it will be menu and then equipment, keyblade level up, we're going to go ahead and strengthen it up one time. Okay, and as you will see, the keyblade actually strengthens up the slots within here to make them more powerful. So now our Mickey is more powerful. And on top of that, we also try out your new stronger keyblade with the stronger Mickey. On top of that, we can also level up the um, level up the metals as well. So you guys will see me do that. Oh, that's cool. Someone has an Aladdin. Let's use the Aladdin. We're using Aladdin inside of Sleeping Beauty's world. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You guys gotta admit that's at least somewhat hilarious. Why? Uh, let's see. Why? Why? Who are you? I, I was standing right over there, and I saw you use that key of yours to get rid of those teachers, uh, uh, creatures. They've been nothing but bubbles, uh, uh, uh tr troubles. Oh dear, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Doc. Me and my friends smirk in the twine, uh, work in the mine. Today was just a plain old day, until those, those monsters sprung up out of nowhere. We all ran out to chase them away, but no one came back. Oh, where could they have gone? 
I should thank my muddy jaws. Uh, lucky stars, you showed up. I didn't know what to do. I was sure I was done for. Well, uh, well, perhaps you wouldn't mind helping me find my friends? I could, could use a band, uh, stand, uh, your help. Sure, why not, man? You will? Oh, oh, thank you. Unfortunately, I don't remember the original voices of the dwarves, so I can't even try and impersonate them. <laughs> I'll show you the, the way to the mine. Maybe we'll see one of the men on the way. Come here, Heartless. Let's have some fun. Smash! Moving on to the next Heartless. <laughs> we're just gonna make this one a real quick one, actually. Yeah, we're gonna swipe, 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 swipe one more time. And actually, if you guys look at the bridge, yes, you can come back across and get more of the shinies that you want to get, so that you can get more items. I don't know if there's any secret bosses. Like, sometimes if you go back, sometimes you will get, um... You will get, like, higher attacking enemies, I guess I should say. Like, enemies that will hit a whole lot harder. I, I don't know how to describe what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> wee, 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 and smash. Alright, let's defeat the target's enemy and move on with this tutorial. Now you guys notice that the target enemy usually has more health as well, so it makes it sort of like a boss fight, I guess you can put as it. But then again, the raid bosses are technically boss fights. So, I don't know how you guys want to put that out there. I still haven't looked at the name of that medal yet. You know what, after this, we will look at the name of the medal, just real quick. If we can. I think we can. Alright, it shows we leveled up again, we're level 5 now. Defeated all those missions. I'm gonna try and get these boards out of the way as quickly as possible for you guys. We got some more jewels. Reach level five. And now we got the average. We have also the dock for quest completion. So those are little um, titles we can make our character have and whatnot. We now have six earn medals and Mooney every five levels. So every five levels you'll get medals and Mooney. Can I please do some stuff? Like other stuff I want to do? I can't see what the medal is. Nope. Okay. Oh, let's see. Do we have any stronger metals in here? We don't. Looks like Mickey here is going to be our strongest. The 270... Bleh, 2748. The mines through the forest. We can't be too careful with those pesky creatures around. Protect Doc from the Heartless. Of course we have to protect Doc from the Heartless, because we are the one with the Keyblade. It's not like Doc could just go and fight him off himself now, could he? Now, something else with these missions, if you can't defeat them all in one turn and you miss the objective or whatnot, you can easily come back to this mission once you have a stronger medals or whatnot and defeat the mission. Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. You guys will more than likely see it sometime. Yeah, see, like this one, I'm not going to be able to defeat in one turn. I thought I did, but of course I didn't. If we had a stronger metal, we more than likely would have. Alright, there's a soldier here. Uh, Mickey, let's go. Think. Get you out of the way. I'm actually going to, as soon as possible, get a stitch. That is one of the medals you do want before you get into any of the events or um, collecting of the leveling medals or whatnot. You want a stitch. A fully evolved stitch. A six star stitch. I've said it three times. Now after the quest, I wanted to show you guys this as well. You can run and grab some of the remaining things that are around you. It's just to be like, hey, there was something I forgot sitting over there. Oh, it said to defeat the target enemy one turn. Well, I couldn't show you how that works now. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, that, that happened. Yuna was her name. Yeah, you guys can swipe down here. Yuna is what we have there. Okay. 
So it did give me a way of seeing what that metal was. Alright, moving on to 7. Ah, there it is. Leveling up metals, part 1. So we're going to try it out. We are going to level up. Okay, we're leveling up Mickey. And we, I think we're using the Donald to do it. Oh yeah, we're using this. We're using these. So these are the ones we'll be collecting soon enough to, of course, like make the metals stronger and whatnot. But there's something you have to keep in mind when making the metals stronger. You will gain cost on the metals. Use the menu over here to jump to things and go to the quests. This is going to tell me to actually do the next quest. It covers the basics. Good luck. Alright, so now we're in a triple lux event. I've shown you guys the tutorial and everything. We'll show you guys some more stuff later on. There is something I do want to check out right quick just to see if I can do it because I don't think I can. Uh, it's a 600 medal right here. So what we're going to do is we are going to actually get up another five five um five levels or five um i can't think straight right now <laughs> five uh five story levels and then we'll get this this little 600 one down here you guys are looking this is where we will get some really high quality medals for the beginning of the game you see we only have 450 but if we do five more missions we'll get 150 jewels so we'll be we'll have the 600 by the time we need it and this is of course a small deal where we get the three star medals and whatnot this can give us up to four star medals which will that four star medal will come in handy. <laughs> of course, there is the bigger mission, the bigger uh, things over here where you can buy, you can buy these uh, jewels to get these ones that are three thousand or whatnot. But in order to get the rare one that they're talking about here, it takes almost fifteen hundred jewels. Like I haven't actually gotten these medals on the very first time, because you you have a chance, you're guaranteed one within five turns, but it's only a chance if you're actually getting. So with that, guys, um, that is the tutorial of Kingdom Hearts Cross, and I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit. Maybe I'll put out another episode today, so that way I can just skip through, like, so you guys can see some more of the uh, beginning stuff. Or maybe I'll just start streaming it tomorrow, I don't know, because there are some of the events going on right now that should be kind of cool. There's some, like, Christmas stuff and events and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna try and create a party, see what it takes to take to do all that. But uh, anyways, guys, my name is Wanfire. This is Kingdom Hearts Unchained Cross, and I hope you guys enjoy it, because I'll be definitely seeing you guys in the next episode or next live stream. <laughs> Talk to you later.